you mentioned Aston Villa. They're the flavor of the month or flavor of the week, aren't they? They're yeah. flying. So is this a purple patch or Aston Villa really good? No, they're, they're really good. I had them fifth at the start of the season. I thought Unai Emery would do something really good with them. I've got so much respect for him as a coach. I learned a lot about him when I was over in Valencia for that four months, about how he operated, what, what, what he, how he was thought of over there. Um, and he's got such an outstanding CV. Obviously, people remember, obviously, the time it was a difficult for him at Arsenal. But he's a brilliant coach. And what they're doing, I don't think, is just a, a moment. Um, it will be difficult to sustain it in the long term because of the lack of spending compared to the other clubs. But I think what we're seeing at this moment in time is here to stay. I had them fifth at the start of the season. I think that's where they could finish. I think they may just drop out towards the end. But we saw with Newcastle last year, you know, and he's got the experience to deal with it, um, Unai Emery. He won't be scared. He won't be sort of worried about the fact that, you know, upsetting the apple cart and disrupting the top clubs. Uh, and Manchester United and Chelsea are awful at this moment in timing. You know, they spent a fortune. So there's a chance there for him. That fourth space is up for grabs. Just for people who want to get carried away, Villa fans in particular, and why wouldn't they right now? They've just been Arsenal and City. Yeah. Um, just a bit of fun. I've given you no warning of this question, but before the game in the press room, I was talking to a couple of the others, and the question was raised, compare Aston, uh, Aston Villa right now with Leicester December 2015 in the middle of their extraordinary season. Conte and Mares and yeah. Vardy. Um, are Villa as good as Leicester were then? Oh, no, the, and the, if so, why not? No, Villa are as good as Leicester back then. The thing was that I think that was a poor season in Premier League terms in terms of the other top clubs. It was Pep's first season, wasn't it? And I think that City weren't, no, weren't anywhere near the level. Arsenal were nowhere near the level. So for me, I think they're definitely the equal or better than Leicester were back in 2015. But that won't translate into the same achievement. What Leicester did was spectacular and sort of should never be forgotten. One of the great Premier League moments, if not the greatest. But Villa this season have got some serious operators around them. I'm not sure that season that Leicester had the same level. Well, they didn't have the same level of competition. So don't be critical to either team, um, either Leicester or Villa. Both exceptional in terms of sort of what they're doing at this moment in time. For Villa to be where they are is exceptional with the just generally sort of where they were in the last few years. So for me, you know, well done to Aston Villa, but they won't win the league. And I'd be surprised if they finished in the top four, but I'd love them to.